Hi all my friends. Okay, I'm ready to leave my Flagstaff camping spot and head towards north. So if there's some things to show you, I definitely will, but if not, then it'll be, um, I'll be showing you the the next destination, which I have in mind um, to see. So I'm pretty excited about it. All right, so here we go on the next journey as I'm going north. Okay, so there's a uh, sportsman's warehouse. And that's it on this little strip. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what I'm seeing. It's just things are not just conveniently located. Um, th that's what I'm seeing. Okay, so um, that's my report of Flagstaff, really. Um, not much going on here, but good town to pass through. Oh, one more thing about Flagstaff. They do have a Walmart, actually two. I think they have a neighborhood one and a big super center. So again, they do have Target and all that really spread out. Um, convenience of everything, but um, just more spread out, that's all. But uh, so you can see a little bit of the mountains on the side as I'm going through this stretch of town. But I am really looking forward to getting more north. All right, so this is this stretch of um, Flagstaff, and see you on down the road. All right, so this is a pretty cool mountain, though, on the outskirts of here. So they got Sears, J.C. Penney. Uh, just getting through the tail end of the north end of. Flagstaff, and there's a nice pretty hill over here. I like that. As I'm making my way out of town. Okay. This might be it for Flagstaff as I head out of town. I'm getting closer to these um, hills over here. It's very, very bumpy. It's bumpy, whoa, like a wavy, like a roller coaster a little bit. Um, but, so I just want to capture it for a couple seconds here, but just absolutely beautiful. This is definitely a beautiful drive. 89 North. Gorgeous. jam here on 89 North just before the 160 turn off to Tuba City. Actually we the cars we the cars all of us cars there's a line behind me I'm telling you it goes way back. So we didn't move for 20 minutes it's crazy. I actually turned my engine off <laughs> sat here um, started watching YouTube, what else can you do? <laughs> At least I got a signal. And I got hungry, so I'm eating. And then now we started to roll a little bit, but yeah, so good thing I have a van in my home with me because I had my food with me up here so I get the munchies I'm, I can eat. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, waiting uh, for this to clear out so I can, uh, move and, and get some uh, speed here <laughs> to my destination. All right, see you down the road here a little bit. Or maybe not, we just stopped again. <laughs> I mean, we really, we barely creep up all those cars like several yards and then we stop again. Now that's been going on for a little bit after that 20 minute of not moving. <laughs> all right, so big delays. See you down the road. 
All right, so now this is what the holdup was. Oh my gosh. Uh, looks like a trailer or something went up in smoke. Oh my God. You could just smell the smoke. Ooh, nasty. I always turn my propane off. I don't travel with it on. Yucky, yucky. I don't know what the cause of it was, but I don't know. I know the chances of something happening is still a very small percent, but um, I don't know. I don't know what the cause of it was. Yeah, and it's okay if people do the propane. I mean, I would still drive in a vehicle maybe with it on. <laughs> um, in this rig, I prefer to have it off. I don't know, maybe it was propane, maybe it wasn't. But everybody has to go with their comfort level of what they want to do. But um, it just, I don't know, it depends on the rig. But gosh, when I see things like that, you really want to know what the heck caused it. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to generalize things like it was propane, could have been electrical, who knows. But um, yeah, it's kind of sad. I wonder what happened. All right, well, it's kind of getting pretty over through here. Very nice, so 99 miles to Jacob Lake. I'm not going quite there today for that direction, but boy, is it pretty up through here. Absolutely gorgeous. Finally getting some moving, woohoo! <laughs> Feels good to get some speed, somewhat. But I can't go too fast because, boy, this wind really does push me. And my hands are getting tired from having to grip the steering wheel. And I have uh, arthritis in my fingers a little bit, so beginning stages. And, uh, yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, those gusts are not fun. <laughs> they just push you. You're like, whoa. <laughs> good thing it's pushing me to the um, opposite side where the cars are at. I'd hate to be going the other way and get pushed into a, you know, towards the cars. That wouldn't be fun. So keep that in mind when you're driving, uh, you know, rigs like this. That wind can be um, challenging. Just take it slow and easy. That's what I'm doing. I'd rather get there safe, slow and safe. Boy, this is pretty. All this is more beauty ahead. Getting close to these um, red hills, mountain hills. Oh my gosh, it's just amazing. Oh, it's so incredible. So glad I took this route. Absolutely gorgeous. 
gorgeous view here. Oh my gosh. Just beautiful. Well, I decided to um, wait to the uh, future video to show you where I ended up going more north because there was so much footage, uh, clips, to capture along 89 of all the beauty. And so the I don't want the video to become too long. And also, of course, the fire that happened with that trailer and the delay. So, um, yeah, that was uh, pr pretty, pretty, pretty scary there for... I feel sorry for that person that had to go through that, but so my heart really goes out to them and anybody else that goes through something like that. We all hope that never happens to us out there on the road. But anyways, um, so look um, for a future video of where I ended up, but it's definitely the northern Arizona uh, is so beautiful as well. I wish I had more time to explore um, the area, you know, that's, that I took and also even more north. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So until then, um, I, I love you all and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.